In 2015, our new entrance uh, block at Horsell School started their teaching as inquiry, looking into play-based learning. Um, they had lots of success with their five-year-olds coming in that they were finding they just weren't school ready. So the children couldn't sit on a mat and they just weren't focused and they were really struggling with that. So they did a lot of research into the play-based learning and um, it was adopted by the year ones and twos last year. Um, and this year we've transitioned it in to include the year three fours, which is where we're teaching at the moment. Um, we've seen, even in a short time, it's made a, a really big impact on our children. The, you know, those ones that aren't quite ready for school and weren't in, engaged in school, they're starting to get more excited about coming and talking about their learning a lot more openly. So we're playing Flappy Bird and it's called Earth and we do like, so you play Play-Doh and you like connect it with these wires and you can tap it and it um, controls the bird on the um, screen. It's like science stuff. Well, you get to really do anything. You get to play with a magnet or marbles or you could dress up. Um, I've got an amazing team behind me, so everything that you see is they're doing and um, our working together, which has been really inspirational for me, working with amazing people. I think using this particular approach, um, that work is just so much fun. I think we're having the same experiences with the children, so because we've got the time to walk around and interact with all these different children, that we've got such great connections and relationships with all the children in the learning studio, and not just your own class. Um, our team's approach to teaching and learning is always collaborative yeah. and it's always student-centred. So we base all of our planning on um, the children's impulses and act on what they're showing interest in. Um, and then we get together and use our strengths to come up with the best plan f to follow their interests. Um, I've made a swing um, out of sticks and um, string. I'm not finished, but I'm get, next time I'm going to make a little fairy house. I made a swing because I want him to make a fairy as well to go on the swing. I think what really filters down for us through um, our leadership's goals and visions for what's happening is um, creating an environment to take risks so that we're really supportive and um, encouraged to, to go out there and to go on the whim to try things. That, will support and get the best outcomes for our learners. The biggest impact for me with my teaching has definitely been learning to just let things go and not having to be in control all the time. I think there's a, there's a lot of power in um, just going with the students and I think for the first time when you've got them all out playing with things and you're thinking what are they doing, what are they learning and actually having um, that supportive environment around you to take the risks as a teacher um, and supporting each other to go with the children's interests and it's um, yeah having an atmosphere of risk taking and support has enables us to go and to take this approach with the children so that's the biggest thing that's changed for me is that I feel more comfortable now knowing that I'm supported by a really um, amazing team to you know follow these passions and integrate them into the to their learning.